Hey guys, uh, my name is uh, Solomon Jagwe. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have exciting news. <laughs> I've finally, finally been able to render a sequence out of uh, Unreal Engine using the Octane plugin. Now remember this plugin is actually free. So this is an, a free plugin for Octane, uh, sorry, for Unreal Engine and I'm using uh, 4.2 2.3 so they haven't uh, built one for 4.23 I'm sure they're gonna create that one but uh, today this is really exciting because uh, I, I love rendering with uh, Octane and uh, for me to be able to bring it into uh, Unreal Engine and be able to render something out is pretty exciting so we've been waiting for this build for maybe a, a couple of days or almost a week uh, when they announced that uh, there will be adding this uh, ability to render the sequencer so that's my sequencer up there and I'm using a, a character called Revenant from the Paragon uh, game this is all free content that uh, Epic made available and that is the result uh, you can see the rope dynamics working nicely so here I'll give you an example um, I'm rendering frame 140 uh, I've set it to 128 samples, right? And so I'm getting about uh, 15 seconds per frame in rendering. And I've turned on denoiser, and uh, so I'm also rendering a sequence of images, not a video. Uh, I'm going to actually stop the rendering so you, I show you the, how to actually do it. So I'll cancel. And so what you're seeing there is the Octane Render engine working in real time uh, with a sequencer uh, uh, active in one of the viewports so let's stop capturing uh, let me pause the video real quick okay so I've closed the window the auction window now let me walk you through what you need to do right uh, let's first turn off the uh, audio for this guy <laughs> it's really cool <laughs> Look at him. all right so First things first, you need to go to the Octane tab right here, yeah? And I'm assuming at this point you've already set up your sequencer and you have your animation and camera and animation and uh, character animation. I've already added uh, Revenant, uh, the blueprint character, to the sequencer. I have some animations uh, add, added to him. So now what I've noticed so far is that uh, using these characters, uh, the animation doesn't come right away through the uh, the, the viewport right here, but it, it shows up after rendering. So I have to dig deep and see what the issue might be there. But click on uh, Octane up at the top, right? And you have to make sure the Octane render target is uh, selected. And scroll down. And look for the render target. Uh, let me back up a little bit. Look for the render target. Uh, and I'm, I'm assuming again that you already have your plugin activated, right? If you don't have it, make sure you go to your settings and under the plugin section, and make sure that plugin is available in that section. And so once it's installed, you see it showing up here as a tab. So select the, the render target and then uh, press Octane. So this has to be rendering, doing this, what, right? And then go to your sequencer up at the top and pre, uh, press on the render this movie to a video or image sequence. So you click on that. And I bring this panel on this side. So make sure you, under the image output format, you select the Octane render image, right? Make sure you select that. And also, you know, set your dimensions. And then uh, make sure you do, you add the file format, world and frame. It's extremely important that you do that, right? So guys, uh, that, that is how I rendered this clip. And <laughs> don't forget to subscribe, uh, check out the videos. Uh